Hey y'all, this is Amanda and welcome back to my Texas Zone 8A garden. And today I am out with my friend Kristen and we are going to tour a new nursery for us called Green Acres in Irvine, Texas. Now, Green Acres is a brand new nursery. They've only been open maybe a month um, at this point. Um, I was kind of surprised at its location. It's in kind of a big shopping center, which is a little bit unusual. And so I'm excited to kind of take you all through this. I've heard a lot of good things about them. Even though they're brand new, they have a lot of options and prices are pretty good. So let's take a look and see. And then at the very end of the video, I'm going to show you a plant haul of what I end up choosing from this particular nursery. Okay, here it is walking up. You can see it's part right next to a big giant furniture store. Over here is the nursery aspect. Looks like they have a lot of supplies inside. So let's go check it out. Okay, they definitely have a ton of stuff. Oh. Okay, this plant tone is way less than what I play at Home Depot. And they look like they have all the tones, including Biotone, for $12. Y'all stop it. Holly tone, plant tone, garden tone, berry tone, rose tone, tomato tone, azalea tone, flower tone, tree tone, palm tone, iron tone, citrus tone, all the tones. Wow. We'll see if they have larger bags. Oh my gosh, y'all, stop it. Look what they have over here. You're going to die. Look, they have land and sea compost. I can't believe it. Let's see. It is $20, $20 a bag for the land and sea compost. $12.50 for their mushroom compost blend. Wow. They have the big bags of iron tone, or excuse me, biotone. So the big bag of biotone is 57. And they have all the plant tones as well, 45. Check out all of these steaks for staking up your stuff, including, look at all the bamboo. I love that you can buy like these big bamboo poles for like $8. Big, massive, and you can build stuff out of them. Arbors, but of course you can totally use it for staking your plants. The amount of stuff here is insanity, y'all. I swear they have like every product. It's like a one-stop shop here. Tons and tons of stuff. They even have patio furniture. Look at all the patio furniture over there. Lots of stuff for your hoses, weed barrier. I wonder if they have like all your drip line components here too. That would be awesome. And then here's all your fountain pumps. LED string lights. Lots of cool stuff. Okay, here is all of your hanging baskets and Coco Core liners, which I need a couple of these. For a project. Price seems pretty good. Even like the big ones. Nice. All right, let me grab a couple of these before I forget. Okay, got my liners. They have all kinds of seed starting stuff, including lots of seeds. Cute stuff for kids gardening. A 
Okay, here's all your components for drip line. Y'all stop it. Look at all that. This place is about an hour from my house. Like you can just buy singles. That's great. That's cute. He's an emitter. It's a frog emitter <laughs> and a ladybug emitter. How cute are they? How fun. Um, this place is about an hour from my house. It seems worth it. <laughs> worth the drive at this point. Oh, look at the anchor pins. I always need big anchor pins. Wow. I love that they have so much of the drip line pieces. That makes my life a lot easier too. And then over here, they have tons more options for your sprinkler systems. Hey, how are you? No, I'm good. Thank you. Definitely feels like a one-stop shop for everything that you might need. It looks like they have all the botanical interest seeds, which is a good company. Here's all your pruners over here. Looks like the brands they're carrying are is Corona. A lot of Corona products. Um, tons more for sprinkler systems. Over here, lots of plant stands. Stuff for indoor and outdoor plants. neat. I need plant feet. I'm pretty sure I could come here and spend hours. Lots of super cute garden decor. I bet you guys will like all this. Are you okay? Yes, I am. Thank okay. you. Look at all the gnomes. Aren't they adorable? I've only been here a few minutes and already had three people offer to help. Oh, she's cute. She's $10. Got some super cute. Look at the fairy houses. Oh, $35. Oh, I wish they were a little more cost effective and that would come home with me. <laughs> they look super cute though. Lots of garden art. Oh, look at all the bird feeders and hummingbird feeders they have over there. Okay, I want to buy all the things. Oh my gosh, look at these frogs. <laughs> Aren't they fabulous? So cute. He looks grumpy. It's a little grumpy frog. These are free. <laughs> frogs are super cute. Lots of birdhouses. Oh, look at all the planters. Guys, there's just so much. I don't think I'm going to be able to show y'all everything. For my uh, people who like to be a little whimsical, some of these dragons. Look at this guy. He's pricey, but he's cool. Wow. So much to look at. Oh, look at the little gnomes. 
He's cute. Oh, look at the jellyfish. So pretty. Love. Tell you what, when it comes time for my birthday and Christmas, I'm just asking for a gift card to this place. Look at the little birds, the glass birds. Those are fabulous. You guys, I am here on a Tuesday in the middle of the day, and this place is hopping. Lots of people here. It's so cute. All right, let's go by the pottery. I'm waiting for my friend Kristen to get here. She told me not to go into the garden center part without her. <laughs> I think she's already been here, so she wants to see my reaction. So a lot of this ceramic pottery is for your indoor plants. This is awesome, you guys. I'm excited. Okay, now I'm in the houseplant section. They have just a few. <laughs> Look at all the fairy house stuff. Oh my gosh, I need to bring my little girl. She's not a little girl anymore. She's 14, but she would love all of this. Look at this guy. Oh, we have a fairy garden we're working on right now. Maybe I should pick up one of these. That is so sweet. I like that one. Oh, oh, she would love this. Look at this guy. Oh, I don't like that it's a boot. Oh. So cute. The little fairy houses, this one opens. So cute. This one looks like it has solar on it. It's probably lights up. Y'all know how I love myself a fairy garden. The acorn is super cute. All the little elements. This is great. I would love to not have to buy from Amazon. Prefer to buy here. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, the fairy garden stuff's fabulous. Okay, let's look at some prices because I'm seeing good prices. The Aglonemas are $6 for the 4 inch and $10 for 6 inch. Some of them are discounted too. Fishtail fern, let's see the pricing, eighteen fifty. Okay, the prices are great. House plant prices are excellent here. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time with the house plants because that's just not my focus right now. Oh, look at all their air plants. Good. I'm going to have to edit out all this music. Hopefully it's not playing out in the actual garden center place. But let's head back in and wait for Kristen. Okay, Kristen's here. She is right outside in the garden center. Please don't have music out here. Oh, yes, no music out here. Where is she? There she is. Okay, let me say hi and then we'll get going. Say hi, Kristen. That's my friend Kristen over there. Okay. She's going to take over the cart so I can show you guys around. There's no lack of stuff. <laughs> There's quite a bit. I see a lot of annuals. 
coleus over here. So the coleus is $5 for the four inch pot. They have some varieties I'm familiar with, some varieties that I haven't seen before, which is nice. I'm always looking to see like, are they gonna have anything that's a little bit, you know, different than what I'm typically used to. Let's see how everything looks like it's labeled well, but this just says quartz. So I don't know what this actually is. This bloom actually is. Yeah, it looks like all of their four inch pots are $5. Here's your primrose over here. Super pretty. I like this yellow one. These are pretty. It's like they have your traditional Bing and Vias over there. We have all of your Vincas over here. These are pretty. Well, it says the Vinca is $5.95. So there is some variation on cost. Right here, you got your Lamium Orchid Frost. Heliochrysum Variegated. Lamium and Greenaway. These are pretty. Calabrocoa. Hot pink cha cha. Lots of lantana. Lots of the Mexican heather, which I'm a big fan of if you have some uh, sunny areas. Oh, okay. I just saw some calla lily bulbs I'm going to look at too. Nemesia, Nemesia. This guy right here is San Vitalia. Okay, a bunch of shrubs over there. It looks like they have a bunch of succulents. I'm not going to take y'all through succulents today. I have a bunch of succulent videos coming up. I have all of our geraniums here which look really nice i'm gonna shift over i don't i try not to put people in the photo <laughs> and stuff now plumbago this is beautiful plumbago for five dollars it's really pretty you got some lavender now the bigger the lavender are six and a half inch pots and they're 750 this is Irisine Blazon Rose. It's a beautiful color. Irisine Blazing Line. Over here, you got your New Guinea Impatience. <clears throat> Those are gorgeous. You got some more over here. You have them in white, corals, reds. I apologize if I'm moving fast. There's a lot of people here, and so I'm trying to stay out of people's way. All right, here we got our purple fountain grass, and it, it looks like it's $5. Not bad for starting some of that out. Oh, look at the... This one is called Trifolium Luck Green Glow. Four Luck Green Glow. So they look like four leaf clovers. Those are fabulous. I will say um, there's not a lot of information. Like, I don't know if that's about this pot. Various plants. So there's not a lot of information. So make sure you have your phone with you so you can look up information about these. Here we got a wave petunia for $5. Not bad at all. That's a great price. Another way petunia. I might pick some of those up. We got salvia misty. This variety is misty. I assume it's around like five dollars or so. It's pretty blooms. So I think I'm on the bigger side. So over here, they have all their annuals in their four inch pots. So I'm on the side or in like their three inch pots, I should say. 
their flats of flowers. And so over here, I'm on their side that it has the bigger pot. So here is your Vista Red Salvia. And it looks like the Vista Red is actually $3. Labeling's not great, y'all. I can't tell how much things are unless they actually have the price on them. We got Bacopa. Looks like we have a Delphinium. This is the blue mirror mix. So it's about 12 to 18 inches high. And this is kind of what you're looking at right here. And they're $5. Those are pretty. Looks like we do have some um, blue bonnets tucked in over here. If you're from the south, you're probably familiar with blue bonnets. More plumbago. Um, they have quarts of stock, all five dollars. These are pretty. It's getting a little hot for stock. Mine's starting to die back. Verbena, the red verbena. Let's see a different color. This one looks like it might be a pink. Let's see. Here's our diamond frost euphorbia, but this let's euphorbia. This is called breathless white. Five dollars. Yeah, there's just not a lot of information on all of them, so you definitely have to spend some time on your phone looking up the varieties. I prefer to pick up my tag and like have all the information on them like right away. That makes my life a lot easier. This is called Arabian Jasmine. 2850 for a three gallon. It's pretty, look at that. But it smells amazing too. Okay, you got your traditional lilies. All about $6 a quart. Got day lilies here, $5 a quart. Lots of celosia. And a lot of these varieties are available in their smaller um, three inch pots. We got some petunias. This one's called Capello Hello Yellow, but that does not look like what that is. A lot of varieties of petunias. And these are really pretty. This look good. I assume around five dollars. Oh, that's pretty. The Nemesia. I never say it right. Nemesia. Nemesia. We got the Alyssum in purple. We got Angelonia here. Bicolor Angelonia. This is pretty. Angelonia is six fifty for a six and a half inch pot. Um, right here we've got Sardiva Blue Violet. I'm not familiar. Oh, Scavolifta. <laughs> oh yeah, I should have just looked at the flowers. Scavola. Okay, it looks like I'm on the vegetable aisle. And it looks like all their vegetable starts are $2.50, which is pretty much the lowest price I've seen. Um, lots of peppers, tomatoes. If they have cucumbers, I might go ahead and pick some up because I'm so late starting my cucumbers. They got a million different tomatoes, y'all. This one's called pineapple. They do have pictures for all of the tomatoes on the side, which that's fabulous. That makes life a lot easier. Lots of peppers. I'm not familiar with where most of these are grown. I assume they're local or that they have their own nursery because the prices are so good. 
Okay, all the peppers. All right, let me switch over to another aisle. Okay, here's herbs over here. And we do like Blue Label Farms. They're local. And looks like their herbs are $3.25 for a four inch pot. Yeah, it looks like that's pretty consistent all the way across regarding herbs. Y'all, there's just so much. I just, I had no idea. They got all their eggplants. They got a lot going over here. They're, they have a whole lot of options. And I'm, I'm just really stoked at the price of everything. Okay, I think I see cucumbers over there. Let's go check it out. Oh, look at all the straw flour. These are pretty. $25 a container for straw flour. Remember, these are the ones that kind of sound like paper. Looks like they have cantaloupe. That's not, the, that's what this is. Squash, I don't see. Here's sugar baby watermelons. We've got strawberry starts. More squash. doesn't look like lemon basil. This is rue. So that's actually, there you go, rue. Swiss chard. Definitely have some trees in the back. It's uh, the citronella plant or hardy geraniums over here. And that's a great price. $8.50 for those. It's like they have a few leftover ranunculus. Um, these aren't priced. Some larger varieties of coleus. And this one's a dahlia right here. $7.50 for a dahlia. That's a fantastic price. we got some more straw flowers right here. Straw flowers right here are, I assume, in the same range as $7.50. Got some more petunias back here. Seven fifty for petunias. They have even more outside, and racks and racks of stuff. Here's there are some perennials over here, but I will say I've seen non perennials mixed with perennials. So I think you beware. Be knowledgeable about what you're looking at and look things up. So today I'm really looking for a couple of container projects. I'm wanting to do a project that's all uh, warm colors, warm tones. Here's your bigger containers of hookra over here. Um, looks like their hookra or coral bells are $10.95 for a gallon. They have a lot of varieties and everything looks very healthy. It's are beautiful. Very, very healthy. Wow. I'm just impressed with how well everything looks. Of course, it's not super um, hot yet here. It's a Goldilocks. Does Goldilocks take full sun? Part sun. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to take a few moments. I'm going to do some shopping and I will pop on when I have stuff to show y'all. Okay, so I'm in another section and over here they have tons of trellis, arches, all kinds of stuff over here. Trees, rose section, lots of shrubs back here. You got all your, you know, drift roses, knockout roses. Some of the weeping cherries. So pretty. Just give you an idea. Look how far back that goes. So much, y'all. Oh, look at the little topiaries. Those are pretty. It's not bad. $89.50 for a little knockout topiary. Oh, these little yellow ones are so sweet. Look at you, miniature patio tree. 
70. Woo. Looks like they do have some proven winners back here. Y'all, it's so much. I'm not going to lie. I feel kind of overwhelmed. And that's saying a lot because I don't typically feel super overwhelmed. It's a lot. I was talking to my friend Kristen. They have a lot available. There's not a lot of variety, I will say, though, in my opinion, up front with the annuals and perennials. Roses are very well priced in $27.50. Pretty. Tons of roses. Okay, I'm going to start walking through and I'll stop as I see stuff. Okay, so they have Southern Living Plants. I like this Platinum Beauty. Lamandra. $32.50. For, I think that's a two gallon or three gallon. I like that. You know me. I like variegated grass. They have a lot of varieties of Lily of the Nile. Prices are pretty freaking good on Lily of the Nile. I've been wanting to grow some. This one's white. This one's a petite, so it's only about two feet high. This one's storm cloud, beautiful blue violet flowers in summer. And it's about three to five feet high and wide. Wow. Oh, that might be really fun to tuck in some places. I might grab a couple of those. There's several other varieties. The, some of the smaller, more petite ones. And then they have some that are the like larger varieties. I've never seen this many variety of a lily of the Nile in one place. Wow. Okay, I have a whole bunch of azaleas over here. I'm not a fan of azaleas, so I'm not going to spend time over here. But what is this guy? It's blooming. What are you? Insurse at variegated flax lily. Evergreen grass like perennial with upright clumping habit, green strap like leaves, cream margins. 1675. What what let's find out more about this guy, y'all. This is from Creekside Nursery. Woohoo! Um let's see. It likes part shade to shade, which I don't really have, unfortunately. Lavender blue flowers in the summer. Little water needed once established. Nice. That's neat. Very cool. Doing okay? Yeah, I'm doing great. Thank you. Dark night flax. Look at that, y'all. That's a big mama. Those are pretty. I like the dark color on them. Okay, lots of trees, lots of Japanese maples. I mean, Japanese maples are expensive. This guy's, though, look at the size of this one, right? <laughs> this guy's $700. That's a great price. Lots more azaleas, which I'm going to skip over. Have a lot of shade plants over here. Hostas. Ferns. Lots of proven winners hydrangeas. So we bit grumpy. Cherry explosion. LD blue jingles. Lots of varieties. Little lime punch. Tough stuff red. City Line Paris, Blushing Bride, so many varieties. Let's Dance Rave. Okay, so they have 
some snowball viburnums. I think I'm going to pick up, actually. I would like to plant a couple of these on my back area. This is viburnum opulus rosium. Spring blooms to 12, 12 feet. A large puffy white bloom striking a red fall color. I think I'm going to get one of those. It's so pretty. I've been wanting to grow some more butterfly bush. So pretty. I like this color a lot. It's Friday. Bedelia purple. Grown by Creekside Nursery. Nice. Let's see a price on those. I like them though. $22.50. Prices are extraordinary. I might pick up one of these too. Okay, y'all. There's a lot. And I am sweating buckets. So I'm going to go ahead and stop and find Kristen and get her to come over and pick up the plants I've collected along the way. Okay, so I had to stop videotaping because I just felt really overwhelmed. It was my first time at that nursery. I didn't really know what to expect, and there was a lot there. I'm definitely going to have to do some more tours with y'all. I feel like I could break that nursery up into like three or four different tours and still not get to everything. There was so much there. A couple of highlight things. Um, the amount of stock they had inside regarding gardening supplies was amazing. Prices on plant tone were amazing. And then they had their own products, Green Acres products, which were beautifully priced as well. The annuals, perennials, flower section, meh. Is okay. Prices were good. Selection, yeah, not that great. Perennial selection, not very good at all. Maybe it's just because they're early spring and haven't gotten more stuff in. Yeah. Um, I thought their vegetables and herbs were excellent and very well priced. Going to the back area where all the shrubs and trees were, the varieties were amazing. The selection was amazing and the prices were stupid good. That literally, like if you would only go buy shrubs and trees there, yeah, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. So um, anyway, <laughs> it was a lot. It was a lot to look at. It is not just a drop by kind of thing. It's something that you probably would want to spend a couple of hours at. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go through the plants that I ended up purchasing, um, talk to you a little bit about what I'm going to do with them, but also give you pricing on them. Okay, so let's start with, I have a flat of zinnias right here. They're the zinnias um, that I usually get from um, Homegrown or a Home Depot or something. I got a whole flat, so I got six, uh, 18 of them, and they're like this kind of beautiful, kind of corally color, light pink. I suspect that they'll get a little bit darker over time because they were in mostly shade. So I think they'll end up being a little bit brighter. Um, let me see. These were, one flat was $22.50. Okay, I also got a wide variety of um, plants over here that I'm going to be utilizing in some upcoming containers uh, that I've got that I'm working to establish. So let me go through these a little bit. I did get a dahlia. It said assorted dahlia, so I don't know what variety it is, but I assume it's going to maybe top out around 12 to 18 inches. And the dahlia was $8.50. Oh, excuse me, $7.50. I got two petunias. Um, it does not list the, oh, it does list the variety. This is called Super Cal Premium Sun Ray Pink Petunia. Uh, 14 to 28 inches high, spacing 14 to 32 inches. So it sounds like it gets really big. And I think they just have this marked as a quart. So this is $4.95. And I got two of those. I also got um, some Joe Pie re weed. Now this is a dwarf Joe Pie re weed. So it tops out at like three to four feet. It fell in the car and broke off three or four stems. It had a whole lot more, but there's more coming from the base. And Joe Pie weed tends to be a um, perennial in my area. And the Joe Pie weed was 
$8.50. Okay, so next I got a Euphorbia and I don't know the variety on it, um, but you know, it's similar to like Diamond Frost Euphorbia. Um, I assume that this is probably going to be a bigger variety, so it might be like Mountain, uh, Snow Mountain or Diamond Mountain. I forget what the variety is for those. So my thinking is a larger one. This is a four inch pot and I got this for $5. I also got what's called an Irisene, which is new for me. I haven't grown this before, but I really liked like the coloring on it. The variety is Irisene Blazing Rose. Um, I think it's really pretty. It takes um, full, to part, full sun to shade, um, but I thought it was a really nice look. This one was, I think this one was, oh, it's marked on <laughs> $4.95 as well. I also got two orange lantanas right here. The variety is Gem Ruby. It's kind of like an orange um, variety, which I think is really pretty. And this one is kind of a little smaller, eight to 10 by 10 to 12, but these are going in pots. So I think that'll work out really well. And the lantanas were, this variety was $4.95. Both of those were $4.95. I also got a kangaroo paw. This particular variety is Jojo Red, and it's an evergreen perennial growing up to three feet. Full sun, red flowers, and this guy was $8.50. I also got two uh, Creeping Jennies or Goldilocks, and these were each $4.95. I think some of these kind of broke a little bit. On this side, I got a, another Lantana. It's got a beautiful coloring to it, and it is, does not have a tag on it, so I did not know the particular variety. Uh, but this one gallon lantana was $7.50. I also picked up this guy, which is a fireworks goldenrod that I've been wanting to grow for quite a while. And this is about two, a three to four feet tall, two to, feet, two to three feet wide, ideal as a cut flower, blooms late summer into fall. And this is going to be planted in front of that new um, trellis that I just put up. And this guy was... $8.50. I got a agapanthus called Storm Cloud, and this guy is huge. Um, it gets really tall, like three to five feet tall. I'm very excited, and I'll do a whole video on how to plant these because these are difficult to plant. And this one I got for $12.50. Hey, how are you? Okay, I also got a viburnum. Um, this is a common snowball viburnum, Opulus roseum. And this guy was on sale today, regularly $12.50, and I got it for $6. So I was very happy with that price. Okay, next over here, a little bit harder to see, is a butterfly bush. And this one, it's just called purple. Um, yeah, it doesn't have any other variety to it, but I really like the coloring on it. I thought it was gorgeous. This was $22.50. It's a really good price. <laughs> I'm excited about that one. And I got one other one over here, which is a star jasmine. And this is going to go on one of those Christmas ornaments. And I picked it because it had lots of, you know, links coming up. So I'll plant it in the middle and then I'll train these up and around the Christmas ornaments. And this guy was $24.50. Okay, that's all of the plants. I did get some bulbs. This one is Stars of Bethlehem, and it's three bulbs in here, and I got it for $6.50. These um, are mid to late summer bloomers, full sun to partial shade, height 32 to 36 inches, and I have a lot of bulbs that I still need to get in the ground, so I need to do a whole video on that coming up. And then finally, <laughs> I got some cocoa liners, and I got two sizes. The first size I got is the 16-inch right here and the 16 inch cocoa liner was seven dollars each and then i got the larger variety which is 18 inch and the 18 inch was eight dollars each so really good pricing on the cocoa liners as well finally on my way home i did swing by the home depot over there and i actually ended up picking up this guy which i'm pretty psyched about this is a bougainvillea and it's called blueberry ice and so this one is 
Um, it grows to about eight feet tall. It's going to be in a container um, for me, and it's hardy to 30 degrees Fahrenheit. I might try to overwinter it. I'm also going to be growing this on one of those Christmas ornament orbs, and I really like to like this kind of light, kind of icy blueberry color, and also the variegated leaves on it. So you can see it was a lot. Um, I literally had to stop myself because I felt overwhelmed by all the potential and seeing so many things that I've wanted to grow specifically in the shrubs and tree areas. The prices of the Japanese maples were stupid amazing. Just absolutely amazing. I couldn't believe it. I mean, we're talking six foot beautiful specimens for $400 for a Japanese um, maple. Absolutely gorgeous. So very excited. This is multiple projects. Got one project here. Here's another project here, another project here, another project here. No, I mean, it's like five or six different projects. Oh, here comes the ice cream man. Okay, so he just parked. <laughs> Gonna be sticking around so i'm gonna just wrap this video up so today i ended up spending 221 dollars and 17 cents i was very happy with the pricing i don't know a lot about the quality everything looks really good but i'll obviously get it all planted and give you an idea I feel when I saw all the plants, they all look really healthy. So I think that's good. They had an abundance of product, more product than they knew what to do with. Um, I felt that there are a lot of like sun things mixed up with shade things. So definitely have your phone handy so you can look up each individual one because I wouldn't trust the signs that you see there. Um, other than that, I will definitely be going back and checking out some more specifically for the shrubs tree area. I think that would be lovely. So, all right, you all, I hope you enjoyed today's tour. I apologize ahead of time. It's a little manic. I was overwhelmed. There's a lot going on. And um, I hope you enjoyed the plant haul. I look forward to planting up uh, these so that you guys can see what all my plans are for them. I'm really excited and I have a lot of work ahead of me. As always, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when my latest videos are up and make sure you check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. As always, she's a mad gardener or decorator or anything else that she wants to be. Thanks y'all.